This is embarrassing for me, Digby. It just makes me look like a mug. So I went to see Liv and Julius, and they updated me on something that apparently Digby has told people he, he, does, he basically doesn't see any future with you, and he would never marry you. Pardon? Yeah, I know. I don't understand. When, when did he, who's, who said this? Well, Julius. 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 Liv. Well, that came from Julius, <sighs> oh, to Julius. be honest. Apparently it happened in Yorkshire. Who told Julius? Because Julius wasn't even in Yorkshire. Yeah. So who was that? Miles. Miles, great. Oh, I just can't believe Miles is going around telling people that. And Julius, the one who's literally just sat down I with know. me and apologised to my I face know. and oh, said, no, it was I won't get involved it, anymore. It, it was awful. It what was else awful. did he say? He was saying things like, Zigbee shines brighter when he's not with you. But oh, that's so lame. I know. Julius wants Digby to be single. Digby said he's happy. Like, I don't understand. Like, why would you pretend to be happy in a relationship and get back together with someone if deep down you don't see yourself being with him? But that's the thing. I can't be with someone who can't see a future with me. Oh, hey. Digby said you guys were having drinks, so I thought I'd come and join you. Yeah, of course. How are you? Yeah. Good, thanks. Yeah. Surprised to see me? Yeah, but good surprise. As surprised as I was, to hear what Maver had to say when we caught up. What was said? Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you ever said that you can't ever see me and you getting married? Have you ever said that to anyone? I don't think I've said that to anyone. Okay, I don't well, have any why, recollection of saying why that. Why is half of Chelsea talking about that behind our backs? What are you saying there? Well, let's start from the beginning. Miles. I mean, yeah, we were talking about you guys getting back together, and I just kind of related to the boys that in a conversation in Yorkshire, you had said to me that you didn't see a kind of getting married with Emma at that stage. But when did I say that with you, Mars? In your room. I've been, I was open with you. Yeah, of course. I was open with you. And I was and open now, to Julius. That, that's the conversation. Yeah, I know. I had. Two people that I feel like I can trust, and now this has been apparently spread around. Like Maver's hearing about it, and now it's getting back but to my also, girlfriend. your ex girlfriend's talking about us, which is hugely embarrassing that you're talking to Liv about our relationship. It's got nothing to do I mean, with we, it. We weren't really bitchy. Yeah, Jules, uh, I'm not surprised stuff. that you're in the middle of this again. Oh, I am. This isn't me trying to stun. You're telling Maver that he shines brighter when he's single. Like, what the f***, Julius? Maver actually said that she thought Did that you was all... I, th I thought, like, you, sh you have shone brighter. Why are you... But this, I, this Jules, is... I didn't, I've said this to you that? before. This isn't me bitching about you. I literally just heard some stuff, felt a bit awkward, said you something to Maver. You know that that's going to get back to me. I feel like an idiot. Well, so it makes look, me look like he's half in and I'm not, and well, I'm in. Okay, but well, let's let's get to like the, the truth of it. If Digby didn't say this, right? Then well, did you say it or did you not say it? I have no recollection of saying that, but I don't. But I don't know where you did got he that. Did he say that? From. We. we did he yeah, say we're not yeah, compatible? Yeah, yeah. Or I don't did he think say I, did I never see you myself said both. wearing this? This is embarrassing for me, Digby. It just makes me look like a mug. I told you that I'm committed. I came back and fought for this. Ems, I've told you I'm committed, and I've told you that I'm, you know, it's every day opening up more and more and more to you. And I'm so glad that I've made the decision to actually be with you. Moving forward for us and for this to work, you guys just need to keep your opinions to yourself. Noted.